Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a help bot in Roblox Studio. And basically what that does is you can make a little person or a robot or something. And whenever someone needs help in the game or wants to know what the game's about or something like that, you can go up to it and you can pretty much ask it questions and stuff. And you can also use it for conversations in games for non-playable characters so yeah that's basically what you can do with that so let's get into this tutorial hey guys today we are going to be showing you how to make a help out as you saw in the beginning of this video so what you want to do first is you want to make a little character or something just at least one part that you want to be asking the question to it can be some cool character like this it can be a person it could be a robot it could even be just a little part it doesn't matter it just has to have at least one part to it so once you do that I already have mine you can pretty much just keep it like this and then what you want to do is you want to find the very top of it so for me it would be the head so I'm gonna go into here and find the top which is the head then we're gonna right click it go into insert object and we're gonna find the dialog thing and then what we can do now is add dialog to him so there's some settings you can do for it you can change the tone from neutral to friendly to enemy or something like that we can put it at friendly and then you can change the purpose of it for shop quest to help we are going to do a help bot so it's going to be help and that's basically what you're going to do there and then the initial prompt is what it says first so if it's a help bot it's going to say hello how can I help you so now we have that and now to add another piece of dialogue for after that we can pretty much just right click the dialogue insert object and press dialogue choice now what that's going to do is we can add what the user can say there so let's say the user said what Oops, that's not how you spell what. What is this game? And then you can, in response dialog, put what it's going to answer. A fighting game. And then, that's how you do that. But let's say you also wanted another choice of something you could ask. So, you can right-click this again and add another one. And then you can put on that one something else so what is one plus, er, plus two and then we can make it say three so that's how you would do multiple ones so let's test it out real quick so we'll go over to it and as you can see it has this question mark on it so you can press that hello how can I help you and we have three things we can do. We can do goodbye. If you don't want that there, you can turn it off in the properties for it. What is one plus two? And what is this game? So if we press this, it will answer right here what we put for that. But if we went back again and asked the other one, then it would tell us what we put for that one. So that's how the help bot would work. And if you want to add something to say after that, you can basically just add another dialogue choice inside of this one instead of putting another one inside the dialogue just put it inside the dialogue choice that you want so that's pretty much how you would do that and what you could even do is you can make a little desk to set the mat or let's set look, this little help bot at a desk here and then he can sit here and answer your questions and you can make it say like help desk or something and yeah it can be really cool and this is really useful when it comes to games and helping players know what to do in the game or what kind of game it is or just any other questions they may have 
or just for conversations in the game with NPCs or anything like that. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you have another tutorial you'd like to see, put it in the comments down below and I might do a video on it. And if this helped you, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to Firewolf Gaming for more Roblox videos. Bye!